Well, hello YouTube. You may be saying to yourself, what was that all about? Well, that was my Sunday morning project. So I'm going to try this, having a cooler right here. I, You know, this is that split cooler. Um, you got fish box sort of over here, and you got this is where I used to keep my shrimp over here, so I'm going to keep like dead bait here, fish box there, and I always put the springs on it. So I'm going to see if it stays here with the chalk, aluminum chalk system. That's what I just made because I looked at a lot of stuff, and it was just so cheesy, and everything's white. Everything's white, 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 white. My, that ain't my color, sorry. So I bought that aluminum channel that's like this, and I didn't want to do any screwing or anything to my deck. So I screwed that chalk, aluminum chalk system around this cooler. I screwed, I didn't screw that, I through bolted it to the rubber mat because the rubber mat weighs so much and let me show you the fasteners that I used you can see I fastened it in each corner right here each corner I put a through bolt there's one right there there's one right there and this is what I used this is actually a all stainless bolt that was made literally to put epoxy on here, stick it to something, and then have a screw point. Another way of not drilling holes in your boat. Because I didn't want to drill holes in my deck. So I ran these up through the rubber mat, and I'll show you that right now. Okay, there you go. And then how it sucked right into the to the rubber mat. So it's not like I'm not missing deck paint and chips and stuff like that because I painted over paint and it got a little thick. So there you go. And it goes right on through. That's the system that I used. And I double bolted them and put washers and the whole nine yards. And I'm just hoping that's enough chalk system because here's what I didn't want. I didn't want somebody taking and dragging the cooler over to the side or something for their personal seat. I want it right there because if they're sitting right here, rods in a rod holder, rods in a rod holder, they can have plenty of room to move around and seating for when we're on the go. Plus, of course, I've got my big 200 Icy Tech sitting up front and they can sit on this also. That's the little fasteners that I used. I already had these. I can't remember what the name of that. It was a two-part epoxy that came in a gun. You put it on here and you stuck it onto your aluminum boat on the inside somewhere. So there you go. That's my little system. Let me put the cooler back. And I wanted something. I didn't want to lash it down. I don't know when I got a bunch of ice and stuff in it. Maybe it really won't go anywhere. But it's an optimal place to sit right here. I may enjoy it myself. I said, uh, who let them dogs out? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who let them dogs out? Mm, mm, mm. Net cam, because we're letting them dogs out. Woo, look at that dog. Big old black drum dog, come on. Yes, sir. Woo, Bob 
Bob's got a drag screamer on. Come Whoa! Thanks to all the ah, the dredgers shitting up our water. And my God, did he eat! Oh my God, it's down his throat. All right, black drum in the house, baby. Who let them dogs out? Yes, sir. Burning down the house. Bob's got a beautiful black drum. The biggest, I think that's the biggest of the day. And it was the lightest biter. Yeah. It went like this, folks. Deep, 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 deep. Just a little tick, tick. You might as well just. That hooks are gone. <laughs> you might as well. Here, let's just get out the old best line cutter in the entire world. Yes, sir. That's how you do it. Here, dump my sinker out of his yap. He's got my sinker down in his mouth. I think he swallowed it. <laughs> he swallowed a 3 8 ounce lead. Okay, well, we'll get it when we clean them. In the box, baby! Well, here's a little postscript to this video. I don't know if I showed everybody this. You should have seen it on my, one of my other videos. But that spring right there holds your cooler lid open. You just kind of find a good place for it. It'll go on the side over here. And then the other thing I do is I got this little $4.50 insulated bag. It's really thin. I mean, it's not huge hugely thick or anything but I'll put some ice in the bottom of here I'll put some ice over here and I put some ice in here and I call it my cooler liner because this is where I'm putting my fish and then I can easily just pull them out at the end of the day and it keeps the cooler kind of clean from all the you know and everything splatting and, and fish slime that's just something I come up with. But this is the cat's meow right here. Watch. There you go. And then, of course, here's my little shrimp well. Go into my oxygen bottle over there. And I put one right there, too. All one handed. Don't need two hands. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.